figured I'd show you guys how to make tuna fish salad. <clears throat> a lot of people, they move out of the house and mama's been making their food for them forever. They get to college and nobody knows how to do anything. Fortunately, I never had that issue. All right, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some mayonnaise. I use Hellman's. Uh, you're gonna need some tuna fish. I use the the uh, the Starkist in water. I don't like the oil because it's just really, I don't know, it's just a little nasty to me. Uh, I like the um, Chunky Tuna and Light. I prefer the Albacore tuna, but this was on sale for, I think, 50 cents a can. I'm gonna make uh, two cans. Just a regular tablespoon. Some kosher deal baby pickles. I like them. Uh, I'll show you in a minute what I do with them. Uh, you will need a, uh, a chopping knife and four boiled eggs, four hard boiled eggs. I've already done the eggs. They're good to go. All right. So if you'll give me just a minute, I will show you the first thing that we're going to do. First thing with the egg. Uh, th there's there's 110,000 ways to crack an egg, I guess, but I do it like this. It's fast. Take it, roll your hand, and then when it doesn't explode on you, because I pushed down on it too far, I guess. I've actually never had that happen before. Imagine that. The day that I put it on YouTube is the day that it explodes on me. Strange. So. Roll it in your hand lightly. Don't do that because you see what just happened. And then it makes it pretty easy to, to peel. And uh, I'm just peeling it over in the sink because I don't really feel like having eggshell all over everything. There's going to be eggshell here and there now because of that little food bar that I did. All right, and that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all of these eggs and, uh, and then I'm going to chop them up and then gonna put them straight over into my bowl. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the eggs chopped up. Uh, if you need a video on how to chop up eggs, you got more problems than not being able to make tuna fish salad. <clears throat> so, all I do is take a knife, chop it up. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, the salad now, the, the egg, and I'm going to pour it over into the bowl. Set that off to the side. Uh, the next thing I do is I'm gonna get my pickle out. I don't know how people eat tuna fish salad without pickles, but I don't. All I'm gonna do is the same thing. I'm gonna take these pickles and I'm gonna chop them up to where they're small enough to where you're not getting just massive pickles in your sandwich or crackers. I like them with crackers. I like tuna fish salad with crackers. So I just chop it up pretty. I don't try to do it like they do it on the, the cooking shows because, well, I'm not a chef. I don't know how to do it. I guess I could probably look it up on YouTube and I'd be amazed at the different methods of chopping things up. But I guarantee you, in the end, it's all chopped up. Same thing. Now we're going to take this, drop it over in the bowl with the chopped up egg. <clears throat> so, it's pretty easy. It's not really that difficult to make the basics. Alright, now... I take the pickle juice and I put a splash of pickle juice. I don't put a lot of pickle juice. I put a little bit and then uh, kind of mix it up a little bit and then get it ready for, uh, it's going to take about two and a half heaping teaspoons of uh, mayonnaise to put in there. 
and uh, then the tuna fish. I'll be right back with the tuna fish. All right, I'm back. Um, I took the tuna fish can. I just opened them up. I, I like to rinse the top of the can off before I open it. Um, I guess I'm kind of strange about stuff like that. I just don't want any germs or anything getting inside of it uh, while I'm in the process of cooking. I also drain it. I take the, when I open it up. I have it like that. And there's the fluids in it. I take. It, I put my thumb on it, turn it, and squeeze it off in the sink. That way, I have it dry. There's not a lot of uh, the fishiness. And then I'll take the tuna, just drop it off inside of there. And then the second can, do the same thing with it. Food for thought, if you'll rinse your can out when you get done and put it in the trash. You don't have a lot of the, uh, the smell associated with the trash. And you're less likely to have any kind of garments or whatever get inside of it all right well now it's all in there everything's in now we just got to mix it up i'm going to mix it up good just the same spoon that i used for the mayonnaise it's not the most complicated thing in the world to do to make tuna fish salad <clears throat> but so many people i find have no clue how to do anything in this world. I like pepper in mine. I don't like a lot of pepper. It'll look like a lot of pepper because it's all on the top, but whenever you get it stirred in and mixed, you're fine. I add a little salt. Everything needs salt. All right. And that's all there is to making tuna fish salad. You can do the exact same process to make chicken salad, salmon salad, anything else, but just use, you know, canned chicken instead of uh, canned tuna fish. Pretty simple, very basic, but that'll make a meal right there. All right, guys, enjoy your tuna fish, and I will see you next round.